Hello friends. In this video I will show you the top 10 best subsea trenchers. I will also give you detailed information about those underwater techniques. Before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you are ready, let's start. Number 10. High Track. It is a Royal IHC World's first four-track subsea trencher with a Vortec undercarriage that allows it to adapt to various seabed soil conditions before track undercarriage allows the vehicle to ascend slopes with a maximum gradient of 20 degrees. The high track has been successfully tested and exhibited at ICH's Port of Time facility in South Shields where a subsea-like terrain was constructed. Results indicate that the high track treasure is able to meet all of the working criteria. Number 9. Boscali's Subsea Trenchformer. Boscali's Subsea Trenchformer is a multi-purpose trencher developed by VBMS and Boscali's for the installation of power cables in intertidal areas and shallow and deep water a ship is used to deploy it underwater its tracked undercarriage enables it to run on the seabed with low ground pressure this makes it perfect for a wide range of soils and cable types depending on these soil conditions the subsea transforming is fitted with either a jet sword chains cutter or disc cutter it can simultaneously create a trench and lay cable its built-in depressor ensures the cable is buried at the required depth for safety and control profiling an obstacle of wooden sonars pan and tilt color cameras transponders and temperature sensors have been installed number eight osbit t1 subsea trencher this trenching system can work both subsea and onshore it comes standard with a wheel cutter that creates 390 mm wide and 1.3 meter deep trends however the wheel cutter can be replaced with a jetting sword Particularly for subcuss it simultaneously lays cables while trenching a depressor unit has been mounted on its rear for the speedy burial of the trench the Osbit T1 is an ideal solution for flow lines pipeline burial umbilicals and power cables on the beach in the surf and offshore. Number 7. SMD Subsea. Now you are looking at the world's first deep sea mineral extraction vehicle. It is a 300-ton machine designed to recover minerals from the sea. The machine is controlled remotely from the ship's control room via an umbilical. Its giant bolt cutter grinds up the sea floor with each pass. The collector then vacuums up material from the piles created by the bolt gutter, which is subsequently delivered by riser pipe to the production support vessel of the surface where it is dehydrated. The mineral deposit has an average depth of 1,600 meters below the mean sea level. Number 6. Merlin WR200. IKM Subsea Merlin Vehicle System is a remotely operated vehicle designed for exploring deep waters. It can operate 3000 meters deep in seawater. State of the art components such as top notch cameras, lights, and sensors have been installed for unrivaled precision. Unlike standard ROF, the Merlin WR200 has AC electrical propulsion based on frequency inverter SAT in combination with an open integrated buoyancy structural frame enables it to move through strong ocean currents. Number 5. Rotec Group TRS-1LD. This system for jet trenching was designed for shallow water. Its water jetty is highly potent and very controllable allowing it to create consistent trench profiles with precision can operate at depths up to 300 meters with a jet pressure from 0 to 90 kilopascals and a velocity of 0 to 14 meters per second. Additional high pressure jets enabled TRS-1 LD to trench in soils with a max pressure of 200 kilopascals. It can be used for a variety of tasks such as cable and pipeline trenching free span and sand wave clear rock dump and drill cuttings disposal harbor clearance as well as subsea construction foundation access number four royal boscali's construction of port and sandbar now you're looking at the construction of Leki Port which is located in Nigeria Royal Bosquez with its cutting-edge technologies and equipment constructed a 700-meter long sandbar breakwater by using natural sand flow. The sandbar breakwater concept is based on the use of natural accretion for port protection. It is expected that sand will accumulate against the breakwater due to longshore sediment transport. This natural accumulation reduces the need for hard building materials, saves time and minimizes the environmental impact. The trailing section hopper dredgers were used to dredge sand material at a nearby offshore area and to transport this to the reclamation location.
Number 3. Perry XD. Next we have the Perry XD Forum Energy Technologies a global oil and gas well drilling company that has introduced this lineup of trencher vehicles it includes a variety of solutions including cutting jetting and burying roffs with crawling undercarriage or floating abilities these are designed to meet these stringent trenching requirements of both strong soils and deep flow line burial protection over extensive distances these vehicles can work in a free fly skid based tragic and surveying modes they have already buried many subsea pipelines and cables worldwide. Number 2. SCAR Seabed System. Next we have the SCAR Seabed System for Ocean Engineering, Oceaneering Trenching Solutions. It was designed for route preparation prior to the burial of subsea gables by blinds and umbilicals. The machine can operate in particularly harsh seabed conditions. Depending on these soil conditions it can excavate trenches ranging from 4.6 feet to 6.5 feet in a single base. It also offers significant benefits for extensive route lengths where trench depth requirements exceed the single path capabilities of small and clouds. Number 1. UT-1 Ultra Trencher. UT-1 Ultra Trencher is the world's biggest subsea robot with 60 tons of weight and a 10 million euro price, Deep Ocean World's biggest subsea trenching robot. It is designed to bury large diameter oil and gas pipelines laid on the ocean floor and move at a speed of 2 to 3 knots under the sea and can trench pipelines with a 1 meter diameter in deep waters of up to 1,500 meters. It has propellers that make sure it lands over the desired site then it uses a pair of jet swords to inject high pressure water to fluidize the surface for laying cable bearing the pipelines it protects them from fishing shipwrecks and natural currents. Thank you for watching the video. See you in another video.